to have an example, we will now move on and we will define a signal. So first here I'm going to import scipy. Here I'm going to, we are going to use a chirp signal. So if you're not familiar with chirp, we can also take a look at the documentation of the chirp. So if we go to scipy signal chirp, we have here is a frequency swept cosine generator. So in the following, Hertz should be interpreted as cycles per unit. There is no requirement here that the unit is one second. And this function also takes several parameters. So the times at which to evaluate the waveform, the frequency at time zero, time at which frequency one is specified, the frequency of the waveform at time t1, which is here. So there are different methods. We can have a linear chip, a quadratic, a logarithm, hyperbolic. We can have a phase offset and we can also have this vertex zero. And it will return our array containing the signal evaluated at t with the requested time varying frequency. So in our case, we are using a sampling frequency of 48 kilohertz. We are defining here t equals to one. So we want to have one second of our chirp signal. Here we are defining a time array and here we are passing our time array. It's the times at which to evaluate the waveform. And we are having our frequency in the hearing range of the human hearing range for 20 to 20 kilohertz. So T1 is T, which is one. So it's evaluating from zero to one second. And we're using a logarithm method. And this function will return this array with the our signal. And we can listen to this signal. So that's a one second from 20 to 20 kilohertz in a logarithmic way. And we can also plot this signal. So here we are plotting half a second. So we are not plotting all, so we can see a bit more the details. And we can see that uh, its frequency is varying with time. And here, finally, we are using our signal STFT function and see that here we are not defining all the parameters. So a lot of the parameters, they are the default parameters. Here we are passing our signal, we are passing the sampling rate, and we are passing the n per seg. So if you go back here, the length of each segment, the rest is all the default values. So for example, overlap in this case, is n per seg divided by two. So this will have an overlap of 50%. The number of FT here used, we are not defining it here, so it is equal to n per seg. It's very important, once again, to understand the default parameters so you understand what we're doing here. And then we're sipping plotting. So this function here is returning frequencies, time blocks, and the values for the STFT. And here we are plotting the magnitude of this STFT using this matplotlib by plot p color mesh. And we are taking the absolute value because we want the magnitude. And we have this very nice and interesting um, spectrogram here and we see the frequency goes from 20 to 20 kilohertz in a logarithm way. So we cannot see this from here. We see the frequencies varying but we don't know how but here we can see that it's a logarithm. If you would, if 
If you wouldn't know, if you try to fit a curve to this curve, then you will see that it is, in fact, a logarithm. And this is the function you need to use in our seminar for your assignment. So once again, take a look at the parameters, understand what it is returning. And one tip I always give is make sure you understand the shapes of everything. So you can always check in Python what's the shape of this array. And this helps you to understand maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you forgot about some default parameters and you see you're getting a shape that is not the shape you expected. So maybe you need to change some of the parameters until you reach your desired results.